Today we continue with part 10 of our Hibernate tutorial for Java programmers and today we are going to be talking about the problem of infinite recursion or stack overflow problem that occurs when you do relationships and mappings in, in Hibernate. I'd like to remind you to subscribe to my channel and also leave me a comment if this is your first time joining and let's just continue. So the first thing is what is this problem all about? So it's also called circular reference, where you have an entity that relates with another entity, and that entity kind of relates back to the other entity. So when you assess the list of an entity, inside this entity it has child entities, and that child entities have other child entities that may also be parents of the previous child entity. So this is how the, the confusion goes. So the, the easiest way to understand it is to just show how it is, how it works. So now we are already having this problem, but I've not showed you. We'll solve this problem and let's see. Now, if we go to the step one is go to the user entity and let's generate getters and setters for posts. So if we go to the user, if we go to the user, so remember we added the we added the, 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 the this this case we added the list of user after we've created the model and the part two. So it means that we don't have getters and setters for posts. So I'm going to right click and then let me generate the getters and the setters. So just say source and generate generate getters and setters. So select posts and say generate. Okay, that's fine. And we are going to do the same thing for for location, in the location entity, let's say step two, right click and say generate getters and setters for users. So let's go to location entity. And we are going to come here, right click and say source and say generate getters and setters. And we go to select the users and say generate. Okay, I'm going to save everything at this point. Now we have getters and setters for the list of users. So if we select one location, we are sure to get list of the users under that location. And let's see what the problem is. Relaunch the application and try to assess the list of users. All right, let's see. It's going to be interesting. I'm going to relaunch it at this point. So we are going to assess list of users. And let's wait for a couple of seconds for the application to start and let's see. Now keep it clearly in your mind how to solve this problem because this has been a problem that keep programmers working for several days, sometimes not even being able to get solution to this problem. We are going to solve it in just a few minutes. So let's get back to try to assess. So I'm going to come to this place. Now I'm going to try to assess list of users and let's see users. So let's see, you can see this is really rubbish. So it's kind of infinite list of items generated out there. So what is the problem? Let's try to assess only one single user. Let's see if we have only one single user. So I'm going to say users, user one, only one user. Uh, let's see, well, it's the same. So what is happening is when we assess one user, that user has, uh, that user has a location. That location contains users. And those users have location, those lo location contains users. So you have a circular reference or infinite recursion. So if I go to the console in Sprinkle Suit, you'll see that it tells us, let's see. Let's see. So be looking at the last uh, line in the console, it says, could not write JSON, infinite recursion or uh, stack overflow, nested exception, blah, 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 blah. Mm -hmm. So this is a problem of infinite recursion. I want to show you this problem. And then in part 11, we are going to now solve this problem very, very clearly. In part 11, we are going to solve problem of infinite recursion using JSON managed reference and JSON back reference. I'd like to thank you for viewing. I would like to thank you for coming this far because it's not easy. I'd also like to remind you to subscribe to my channel and also talk to me 
by leaving me a comment in the comment box below. So we see in part 11.